Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. August 29, Tuesday, a market close higher today up 64.39 points or up 1.05% to close at 6,225. Value turnover is at 4.7 billion pesos. So short and trading week and uh, investors remained on the sidelines. Uh, so actually the market uh, drop just recovered uh, towards the closing uh, so turnover improved but still uh, lower than expected so if we really want uh, to be bullish on this kind of market but we need to average around 7 billion pesos uh, so I think uh, lower than that uh, medyo cautious uh, anyway it's the same leaders DG Plus continues to surge, no? so they re reported uh, first half income at around 1 billion pesos, no? which is a turnaround story. No? So we extensively discussed DG Plus uh, when it was just around 253 pesos earlier this year, and it continues to surge as it attracts investors, traders. No? So let's see if uh, they can institutionalize the shares. No? Right now, you can see uh trading of volume at around 20 million 30 million pesos so they also adopted a dividend policy of around 20 to 30 percent of previous year's income anyway uh fiba no? they're also a major sponsor here no? so definitely a slam dunk or arena plus monte surge 6.82 percent ict is also up jgs is also up uh, not much news, no? Double Dragon commenced the construction of its 482-room uh, Hotel 101 in Hokkaido, Japan. So, but uh, the story there is not very attractive. No? So, walang masyado. It's close 2.28% lower. Uh, with regards to Gcash naman, no? uh, uh, Gcash will charge a 5 pesos convenience fee for cash in transactions made through BPI and Union back in October. So, talagang as a platform, they need to look for other ways of generating income. Pati cash in. So, grabe, pati cash in may bayad na. Anyway, uh, the Eslex operator, which is San Miguel, is also hiking its CapEx for 2023 by 4.6 billion, at least to partially finance the Batangas Lucena Expressway construction. So it's the same leaders continue to search in the market will probably look for another alpha play. No, kung wala, yan na talaga. No? Clearly, it's the stock of the year right now. Everyone's favorite. Uh, what else? No, short and trading week. Uh, by the way, no, San Miguel also issued around 173 million uh, cumulative, non-voting, non-participating, non-convertible, redeemable, peso-denominated Series 2 M preferred shares at 75 pesos per share by a private placement. Uh, PNX also widened its net loss of around 2.07 billion in the first half, mainly due to uh, decline in domestic volume. Now, oh, by the way, surge its net income by 58% to around 8.45 million in the first half as they look to grow the business further. Pero wala na eh, no? The telco craze is over, so wala masyado dyan. Boitis, by the way, launched a Pera Hub, which is a more enhanced and inclusive mobile application. Uh, MPI, no? Tender offer, palapit ng palapit na. Meralco, by the way, contracted around 1,880 megawatts of renewable energy capacity from various suppliers as they aim to reduce its total carbon emissions by 15%. So its power generation arm will also be will also invest around 18 billion to accelerate the expansion of its renewable energy portfolio. Uh, by the way, no, sa bini Jollibee CFO, they're looking to spin off their Highlands Coffee as a separate listed company. So remember, they also own uh, the other businesses. Now, in 424, they take off. So they're bullish about 
uh, the outlook on their Vietnamese coffee brand. No? They're also bringing Singaporean brands in the Philippines, uh, Tiong Baru Bakery, and some coffee shop. Uh, Globe, by the way, is also launching uh, a level-up version of eSIM, which will allow user to activ- activate a cellular plan without the physical SIM, FYI. Anyway, our passcode for today is Gilas Pilipinas. So, Gilas versus Italy right now. So, thank you very much. Bye.